Earthworms are incredibly important. As they move through the soil, they aerate the soil, allowing water and gases to flow through the soil more easily, and they make it easier for us to do the process of agriculture. But on the other hand, as the climate's changing, they're moving further and further north, and they're entering forests where they don't normally exist, and they're disrupting the soil that these old growth forests exist in and killing giant trees. I think one of the coolest things about earthworms is that their entire bodies are covered with chemosensory organs. I'm mainly interested in how a nervous system of an organism processes sensory signals to cause that organism to make one decision or another. Senses that are important to them are things like touch, detecting chemicals in their environment, or detecting vibrations. What we would think of as maybe hearing, but works a little bit different from them. For the past 30 or 40 years, people have kind of neglected them, and specifically their cell and molecular biology in a laboratory setting. Here at Kane, we're able to use what are cutting edge techniques that were developed to answer questions about diseases in humans and answer biological questions that people have had about earthworms for over a hundred years. If we understood the decisions that they made to go and reside in one patch of soil versus another better, we may be able to come up with management strategies to guide earthworms to the places where they do the most good and protect those forests.